<laughs> Sorry, I did the back phone task and my sister clear across the house heard me because the because speakers were so loud. Why is the heck is the speakers on? In a second. Oh, that put me in a really awesome mood. I don't even remember what I'm doing now. How do I how do, how do I turn this off? It's off. And today we're gonna be reading something again from Played Awesome. He is not so played awesome, is he? Uh, it is a cartoon fanfic, Happy Tree Friends. And it's called Breaks Revenge. Just, and it kind of summary is okay. So, this is my revenge to Sonic Fangirl. Warning, rape, dark, blood gore, a fucking lemon. You're not allowed to put the F word in the summaries. That's one of the rules. Did you read the rules? I mean, I'm not even on the side I know them. And worse, hey, I warn you, P.S., don't ever get on my bad side. <sighs> I love getting on his bad side. I don't even know why I'm so happy. Now, I'm going to read the reviews first. One from, Ty one from Tommy the Panda that is dating one of my best friends. The bitch needs to die. I wonder what happened to Brick's kid. Booty the Wolf. What did Sonic Fangirl do that was so bad? Or what video was it? And what from Hit Girl Gossip? Oh my, is Sonic Fangirl that meme? Shake, shake my head. Hey, Sonic Fangirl, it's not cool to bully and make fun of my friends or people. It is rude to judge by its cover. I didn't judge the story by the cover. I judge it by the horrible grammar and the stupid plot. You don't blow though their stories and V U I if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. I really should have scripted this fuck. But how is me giving him destructive criticism trying to help him is any better than his OC killing me in a story? I'm just saying I'm not trying to be mean, but being honest is all. Hey, played awesome smiley face don't don't let her get you to to you bro you are awesome as ever yeah bleak face and I like your revenge but I can never do so because I'm too nice nope but I'm just gonna read about it um face have a nice day another weird face I and hope together done something right here well, it wasn't, because all I ever really frickin' did was give him some criticism on his story and it tells him how to make it better. It was all through humor, and it was not like... I don't even know what I did. It's not like I ruined his life. It's not like I gave my, his address out. All I ever frickin' did was just... I don't get it. Seriously, people are like butter these days. To give any criticism at all, they're just gonna fall down and cry. Like, four-year-olds. Jesus. Author's note. Okay, first off, this story is sadly, f sadly for me, has a rape limit. You could have fucking took that out. But it, because this is a friend story, no shit. And F-U-I, Tommy the Panda, help me with this as well, because she is a sucky puss. So, this is our revenge to Sonic Franco. She has a YouTube account, but I'm not sure about a fanfiction account. I'm not on fanfiction.net because I don't really like the site. All I see is a bunch of bad grammar from a lot of people, and people like played awesome. People, I mean, uh, what did I ever freaking do to you? Uh, what are you going to do to Death Princess or Tommy the Panda when they don't like one of your stories? Or are you going to have one of your OCs rape them or something? I mean... God. But this story is going to be full of torture, rape, blood, and a lot of messed up things. If you don't love any of this, I don't love any of this at all. But I'm going to have to read it because it was requested. But oddly, this was posted today or yesterday. So, I... It already had three reviews. I, people must really freaking hate me. Then I recommend the back button. Breaks POV. I'm going to go straight into the good parts and tell you readers where the limit starts. You're not allowed to put author's notes in the story. I read the rules of the site before I even 
started to review any stories on here, and it said you can't do that. So, congratulations, you've broke two rules so far. Pain, that is, that is all I am thinking of. And the two girls that are tied up back to back to each other in a very dark room, only the light flickering. Let us go, one of them screamed. Oh, scream. Because this person, no matter what was watching every video that I made of his stories, he's still going to make that mistake. And I have seen I have wasted my time with those stories. And hours that I am never going to get back for editing those. And, ugh, God, it was all for nothing. Let you go. Why would I do that? I said, messing with them. Please, the only one screamed. Hey, I kidnapped you fair. It's square. You don't need a comma there. So I will do anything I want, I said. With no period at the end. What did we ever do? The little one asked. Well, to start, you made fun of me on your web show. Well, that's a perfect reason to kill somebody. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Sissy, I have to ask you a question. Sissy, are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. Is making fun of somebody on a web show worth killing them. Yes. Oh my god. What is wrong with you? Nothing. If somebody makes fun of you on a web show, you're just gonna kill them? Yes. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! I forgot my sister was crazy. So maybe that is a legitimate reason. Where was I at? Where was I at? Where was I at? We all just and my friends and above all you're so fucking annoying. I screamed as I clawed at the at the older one. I clawed don't you mean in the older one? Blood dripped from her face right below her eyes. So stay quiet, I said in a whisper. What the fuck what the, what the fuck did I do? It was my sister talking. How can you always get punished for something she does? The the two indeed remained quiet. This is gonna be fun. I took a sharp knife from the table that was in the room. I took a glare at my two victims. The older one was a brown rabbit with a long green sleeve shirt with sweatpants. Red thang thick or thin. Tommy the Panda said that my glasses were th and grass green eyes. Her sister had golden fur, a pink long sweater. My sister never wears sweaters. It's always, always me wearing sweaters. Tight pants and makeup on her. Sluts, I whispered under my breath. How the hell am I slut? I didn't know wearing long sleeve shirts with sweatpants makes you a slut these days. I took the fairy end of the knife and started to cut the older one's arm. But of course, the little bitch starts to cry, starts to cry out of pain. Be cried already. It's just like a cat too, but... Leanne, why are you screaming? I'm sorry, my sister was screaming from the other room and it sounded painful. Be quiet, it's like a tattoo, but fuck more painful. I said as I resumed to cut her arm to a point where the blood was dripping down, making a puddle. So you were kind of cutting me in a way that wasn't making blood drip down? Where the fuck would I scream then? I don't get it. I mean, I would understand if blood was dripping down when you started to, but I wouldn't scream out of pain unless there was like a lot of blood dripping down because I do not give the enemy satisfaction. Stop, you monster, the younger one screamed at me. I only smiled and hurry and took the knife and threw it at her kneecap. If you were sitting back to back, all you, you throwing it wouldn't hit her. If you would stab right in, it would make more sense. That doesn't make any sense. Your stories have not approved at all. From the first few chapters of the story you did like months ago. I mean, you haven't even approved at all. Hitting it right in the middle, then took the knife and slashed her leg as I brought it down, then finally punched her in the face for good measure. You're an ass. She's like eight. I started to laugh like a man manic. Sonic Underground! Oh, that good. Oh, that good. You see, you're not in a position to tell me what to do. 
So be quiet, or I'll make your death a whole lot painfuler, I threatened. Are you okay? the older one asked her sister. She always spotted by crying a lot. You're a monster, you know that? I don't, she wouldn't call you a monster over and over again, she would call you an asshole. The younger one said between tears. Ah, you're sweet, did you know that? I said, pushing the younger one to break. You're a bitch. Again, she's like eight. Leave her alone, you freak, the older one's crying to me. Freak, well that's a new one. But yet, I don't give a fuck. I scream, raising my voice, making them shudder. Ugh, I wouldn't shudder at him screaming. I would shudder at him bringing out his weapon. God. Oh no, it's okay, relax. Do you understand me? None of them, res neither of them responded okay, so now- Oh, so we're gonna play the quiet game, huh? I questioned. You told us to shut up like a few minutes ago. What the- What the heck? Tell us to shut up, but do you guys do you want me to still talk? You're bipolar. They both looked away from me. I smile. Oh, I'll make you two talk. That's the wrong two. You imbecile. I said as I lift the room, going into my torture room. Blood was all over the room, along with knives, guns, empty bullets, and other and from other things that my sick mind has. I pick up a cable from cable wires, knives, and a needle with a special drug. Fucking Leah, I gotta wake up the baby. They both took away from me all. Oh. Okay, let's see, I was there. I came back in the room with my two victims. I pulled up a chair and sat in it. Okay, I'm giving you girls one more chance. And trust me, you want to talk or else you'll regret it. I said with a too happy tone. I would freaking talk. Sorry, guys. Me and my sister had a little fight, but now we're back. Uh, let's see. The, the silence filled the room. I grew in pages, so I got up, kicked the chair, grabbed the... Spark cables, fine. Then ha let's have some. I grabbed. I quickly grabbed a car battery and hooked it up to the cables. I clipped one to each of their ears. To, just to let you know, this was your entire fault. Instead of turning on the car battery, an author not gonna read, not gonna read, because that's against the rules of the site. I can report you. You could lose your whole story because of that. But I think everybody knowing your patheticness will be better. Don't you agree? Let's see. I set the power to show the with a little electricity. I smiled as the smell of burning flesh. So, do you want to talk yet? I asked. I would freaking talk. I mean, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. My sister would definitely talk. I turned up the power a little. Smoke filled the room. I couldn't believe. This makes a lot of talk or die or whatever. I turned up the power to the max. Even the lights flickered a little. So the flickery lights flickered. How shocking. The loud room fills the room. I coughed with the smoke out of my face. When the, du when the dust cleared, my anger rose. The two sluts were still alive. The wires were broke and blown up. Blew up. I grabbed the knife out of my pocket, and I grabbed the oldest one's hand. Let's play a little game, I said. I spread her fingers. I started to chop the knife between her fingers. Oh, the knife game. I love that game. Oh, my God. I'm going to listen to that song now. <sighs> That's one of the best songs ever. Let's see. Okay. What was I doing? I started off slow, then picked up speed. Then I heard a cry of pain. I had hit the... Oh, the sister's palm. Ow! Pain's a bitch. And, of course, blood soon came out. I can see your head is bleeding, but don't worry. I help. It's I'll help, you idiot. I said as I got a hand towel. Then, when neither of them were looking... I poured out it on the towel and went back to the injured one. I quickly tied the towel to the other hand and squeezed it very hard. I poured, I really had a huge well of pain. Shh, it's okay, it's going to be just fine, I said, squeaking quiet. 
I let go of the towel, letting it fall to the floor. Isn't that better? They both muffled a little. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, I said. Please stop, the young one said. I leaned in and spoke. Nope. I smiled. You're a jerk. I mean, I would understand you wanted to kill me because I'm just this horrible person that made a web show of you. How dare I? But my sister didn't do anything. She was just sitting there laughing along with me. I don't see what the heck she did. I deserve any of this in this story. Okay, it's time to get the real fun started. I said, loading the nail gun. What are you going to do with that? The young, ones, the young one asked me. I decided to play dumb. What, this thing right here? I asked. Uh, yes, she said. Oh, is it nail gun? I was going to let you girls go and be able to take care. I said, I died the robes to the young one's chair. Really? She asked. She got her hopes up. My sister isn't that much of an idiot. She would say, cut the crap, cut you, well, not cut you, kick you in the balls, untie me, run away, happy ending. Fuck no! I screamed, kicking her square in the face. Because she's little, and she can't fight back to a... Ugh, no, stop! She screamed. Shut the fuck up! You wanted us to scream and yell and talk a few minutes ago. Then you want us to shut up again. You're bipolar. I screamed, back hitting her on the head with the end of the nail gun. My strike was too hard as she blacked out. I smiled as the room grew quiet. I dropped the nail gun on the floor and walked to the older sister. See, now it's quiet, I said. Oh, it quiet. See, now it quiet. I'm sorry. I just have good grammar in my head. I have to dumb down a little bit. <laughs> What happened to her, she asked in a hurry. Oh, don't worry, she is fine, but knock the hell out, I told her. I would have a cussing problem out of this, after this story. This guy just cusses and cusses and cusses. It was quiet, in a way too quiet. I was up in her face, I could see her tension, the, I could feel the tension building up. Neither of us moved, she didn't have a choice. No, I didn't. Wait, I could headbutt you. I would headbutt the crap out of you. Then die. But it would be worth it. Because I headbutted you. Then I kissed her on the lips. But of course she tries her best to push me off. Well, Brig either has a crush on me or he is incredibly horny. Probably both. <laughs> it's fun to make fun of characters. After I broke it up, I untied the ropes. What the fuck will you do that for? After it was untied, I was met with a hard punch to the face. Get away from me, you free, you creep. She said as she ran out to the door. I ran up and caught her by the ears. Oh, hurt by the ears. He put a T and dotted R. Like an idiot. I dragged her down on the floor. She punched me in the gut. Then knocked me over. I quickly... Oh my god. Uh, I dragged her down to the floor. She punched me to gut. I dug. I got up quickly and pushed her onto the table. Warning: limit starts here. P.S. Tommy wrote the limit for me. Thanks. There are at a total horror where they backstab you and they betray you. And Tommy the Panda, you have got up a little from a total whore. You are beyond a sucky puss. You're a cut. Break growled. I am going to fucking kill you. No shit. He bit over the oldest rabbit. Her struggles useless to the to the jacket. She wiggled her leg, her ankles free. She kicked him in the jawbone hard. A loud click fell Crack filled the room. Finally, a little in character here for what? God. The teary eyed teenager watched a tear. If he's bending me over, how the heck can I see him? As he bent her over more, she wondered what kind of torture was next. Just to feel him shove inside her. 
What the fuck did he shove? Oh, he shoved himself. He shoved deeper into her. She felt like she was being torn apart as she cried out in pain. He chuckled, loving the pain at the pain he was giving to her. I don't get a that line which is clucky. I have a feeling that you wrote that in there and told me the panda did it because she's a whole lot better writer than you. Even if she's a cunt. Let's see. She tried to kick again, but his whole body held her in place. He began to shove in and out of her, leaving her to try to fight and scream in pain. His shove was making her making blood flow out. Wow, I'm surprised you're a virgin, he said. A new type of he felt a new type of pleasure, and he then he felt himself become closer. Oh, you could have guessed it? What made you not think I was a virgin? My modest clothing? Or me being underaged? He jerked out. When she thought it was finally over, he flipped her over. He laid on her and shoved it. She was so tight, he hurt him a little. What do you mean, she? He snarled. Tears covered her face, her furry face, making blood drip as he did the same matches as before, and much harder than the last one. Tears. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. Tissue ripping and breaking as he shoved his manhood inside the head virgin. He felt himself began to come. He let himself come inside of her. She screamed louder than before. She hoped to die. She was broken. She was beyond terrified. And if she did escape, pregnant. I'm just gonna. Do this. Get from my freaking mouse over here!